I decided to try this adapter for Lenovo Legion Go. It's supposed to, to let me to use an uh, 2280 SSD inside um, of this device without changing the back. So um, without, without a custom back, we should be able to use this adapter inserted right here in this way and it should let us to um, to use an uh, ssd like this with the device let's try it and let's see if this works i'm really curious so this is what i what i got in the package this adapter something like double adhesive tape to to hold it probably and um, this small screw so i will put them here and I will go to the next stage to, to open the Lenovo Legion Go. First of all, open these six screws. Here they are. Use something uh, li like this, as I said. And here on the back, just try to insert it. The back, like this. Just go here on the edges and do the same operation and here we are this is how you remove um, the back plate we have to disconnect uh, the power cable which uh, it's located right here I, I will use my fingers but first of all let's remove this Here it is. The next step, uh, try to disconnect the cable from the battery. It's it's this one here. I used my uh, my fingers, my nails, in fact, uh, like this. You have to remove also um, this tape like this. And here we have the SSD. So this is it. Let's test this adapter. It should look like this. And here it is. And at this point, we should be able to insert the new SSD here. No way. Let's hold it like this. Here it is. And this is how it looks. It was only for test. And let's make sure that it's fully inserted here. Okay, this one back. I'm using a small part of this double adhesive tape here for, um, for the SSD. So here I have it. So I will insert it in this way. And now it should stay here. I also I will put back this here. Now we have to connect the power uh, power back here. Here it is. So 
So uh, another important aspect uh, after trying to close uh, this, um, without a small modification, it's impossible to do that. Just look here. When you try to close it, it will press here on your SSD. You have um, you have a small metal here. Here it is. Let me show you. This is how it looks. It's on the back, basically on uh, on this side here, on the right. Um, you have here a small pin in this area. Here it is. This is it. Um, it's the only one, as far as I see it here. It's very, very small anyway. I decided to, to cut it. It's right next to, to this screw area. Here it is. It's very, very small. This is it. Here it is. You have to cut it in this way. And now your device uh, can be closed. Another uh, change that was necessary here in order to put this uh, back plate here was in this area um, over, um, over the SSD. So um, I had to cut this. Let me show you. In this area here, there was a plastic. This one. Here it is. This is it. It was right here. And I had to cut it. So it's plastic. You can um, you can remove it very easy, but be very careful. Um, related to warranty. So if you do this, all these kind of changes, as you know, the warranty will be void, will be cancelled. Uh, at least this is how uh, it is here in my country. I don't know how um, it's your warranty, how it's uh, the law in your country, but make sure that before making any changes to your device, um, make sure that you, um, you know what you are doing and uh, that you are uh, voiding your warranty and it's basically your own risk and it's your decision if you, if you do this or not. I'm just showing, I'm just, uh, I just want to show you what I did with my, my device uh, at this point. So be very careful with the warranty before doing this. After removing this plastic from here, at this point, the device, um, it will, it will close basically here. Look. So at this point, we don't have a problem with this area and this is perfect. The next step here is to get your um, recovery uh, flash or um, stick, in insert it here in a port and enter um, BIOS mode. Otherwise, it if you press start button, it will enter uh, in recovery, probably it will see your SSD at the end, it will give you a, uh, an error, at least this is what happened to me. Press volume up uh, and power button and in this way you will enter um, in BIOS mode. So press and hold volume up, enter BIOS and here check if your um, um, SSD it's fine here it is we have um, Kingston this is it for um, terabytes and we have the USB device change the boot device press up here put the, um, the USB stick first and press exit so save and exit and after that um, your device will boot first this uh, flash drive 
otherwise as I said it will um, it will display um, a screen with recovery it will give you a window like uh, on Windows to, to recovery from USB from you have trouble short some something like that so that's why I advise you to to enter in BIOS and to change your um, your order for boot device and here it is at this point you can go with um, with the setup yes I accept next yes and at this point um, all you have to do is to wait they say um, that this process will take a lot well uh, we have to to wait and see you should see probably as I said in 10 minutes you should see a message here asking you to remove the USB flash drive and to press OK and next so this is it I will tell you I will tell you immediately how long the entire operation uh, takes 10 minutes or something like that remove um, the removable disk otherwise you may lose that or um, other problems so let's remove this and let's press OK and here it is so uh, the entire process around 10 minutes something uh, something like that um, and now again you have to wait this time it depends probably 10-15 minutes or so it will do uh, everything here on the screen by itself you will see all kind of um, messages windows and of course you will ask what about the heat uh, because now we have a 2280 ssd inside of this well let's see after uh, 15 minutes of intense working installing windows let's see um, let's see what happens here so here we have 40 degrees on the screen 37 in this area 37 42 let's see uh, let's see at this point what happens here on the back 36.5 and um, of course this is um, this is the area where we have the SSD let's see what we have here next to the color okay 43 51 degrees so this is this is the uh, this is the area where we have um, the SSD and basically it's it's a problematic one let's see 56 58 degrees 59 58 59 so basically this is uh, this is um, the area with the most um, higher temperature but anyway during my gameplays what I noticed um, this is the area where you get the most heat here you have the cooling system it, uh, it gets the, the flow from this uh, area and also from here but the most um, higher uh, temperature you will feel it during gameplays in this area and from my measure measurements it's the same temperature as always I don't have a video with um, a previous um, measurement but I can tell you that at this point I have normal temperatures here 44 degrees 37 so finally here I have my Lenovo Legion Go with 4 terabyte um, SSD as internal storage here it is 3.6 terabytes so um, I can use the, uh, the entire space now for games I don't have to use um, um, I don't know an external SSD still if I have because I have plenty of games I will use also the external SSD with um, with the, uh, this um, adapter it looks like this it will enter here by the way but this is another video so here it is really cool um, 
at this point uh, it seems that everything works fine and from what i saw the temperature it's normal um in general this is what i had also with uh, the other uh, ssd so let me let me measure it here because as i said this is uh, the most um, the most hot uh, part of this device let's remove this and let's measure it here here it is 59 uh, basically this is uh, this is how it stays uh, most of the time this area here I don't know what is here probably because we have the USB type C here um, we have the uh, the Wi-Fi board also here now we have the SSD uh, this is the area with um, a lot of heat and we have an advantage because uh, this back it's made uh, it's not plastic so um, being made from um, um, anything else than plastic we have a better conductivity for heat and it's good that we feel the heat on this uh, on this area here because it will dissipate basically it's like a, a cooler probably that's why they decided to make the entire back um, uh, not from plastic so um, for example here where we have the vent the entire area it's you will feel it cool because it drains air from uh, from these uh, small uh, um, areas anyway uh, going back to to this aspect this is what i had previously also with um, with the official ssd so nothing um, too scary or so as far as i saw you can go with an ssd in normal temperatures up to 70 degrees so um, I believe uh, everything it's just fine so at this point again let's see it here here it is 3.3.6 terabytes plenty of storage so um, this is what I will use from now on I will uh, post another video after some time and I will let you know what uh, what uh, how this works but i'm pretty pretty confident that um, everything uh, will be fine because i had a two terabyte ssd in my uh, asus rog li for quite a time and everything work was perfect and i had in a way an adapter like this one like uh, like this one uh, here basically is the same uh, the same story so thanks for watching please like share subscribe thanks for being here